In this video, I speak with Tom Iannucci of Pietro's Pizza on Kauai. The interview was recorded at Pizza Expo in Las Vegas. Tom, who's also a pastor, explains how his journey with pizza started over 30 years ago when he moved to Kauai and could not find great pizza. Tom took it upon himself to not only learn about making pizza, but how to start a pizza business. The pizza business part started at Pizza Expo. Let's get his story. Albert Grande here from pizzatherapy.com, legendsofpizza.com slash blog. I'm talking to Tommy Iannucci from Pietro's Pizza in Lihui, Kauai, a neighbor of mine. And here we are here at P Pizza Expo. How are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing really good. And, and I will say, Pizza Expo is where we met a number of years ago, a number of years ago. And now you have your own pizza place on Kauai. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the reason why we met years ago and, uh, and uh, I opened a pizzeria later is because I'm kind of real particular when it comes to doing something. I want to do it, you know, I want to be excellent, excellent at what I do. So I decided to go to Pizza Expo first and, you know, spend a couple, a couple expos before I even got started just to kind of glean and see what, what it was I was getting into. But, uh, um, I've been on Kauai 30 years, and for 30 years I've embraced the culture of Hawaii. My wife's a local girl uh, from the west side of, of uh, Kauai, and that's a very local, local uh, type of uh, place on the island. So um, I'm a full-time pastor. Um, I woke up one day with three children in college. I had been making pizza since uh, 1998 when I arrived there. And the main reason for that is when I came to Hawaii, I told my wife, I can leave New York, but I can't leave this thing I love. And this is pizza. This is part of me. It's a culture, part of my culture. So I began to do it at my house over the years. And, and when, when I woke up with these three kids in college on a pastor's salary, um, I said to myself, I know Jesus, the Yankees, and pizza. I didn't think the Yankees were going to hire me, so I better go back to, you know, I better do pizza. So that was the beginning of the quest to begin to do pizza. People have been asking me for years, much like Albert, I was making that out of my home, I was giving it to people, just using it as a, as a, a, a just a way of fellowship, as a way of just getting to know people. And uh, people would come to town and, and their friends would be like, hey, can we bring them over for pizza, you know? And it's a pizza is just a cultural, communal kind of a, uh, a bridge, you know? They don't even have to speak your language. Pizza becomes the language. And uh, so uh, when I decided to do this, uh, Pizza Expo was part of it. I got to meet guys like Albert, thus we're here today. Uh, a fellow uh, a lover like myself, and uh, um, what I wanted to do is, is to do something special. Part of that was to go to Naples, train with uh, Enzo Cochia uh, uh, at Pizza La Notizia in, in Bomero, and uh, yeah, they, they worked me hard. <laughs> they, 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 were, they were pretty brutal uh, about understanding what exactly uh, Neapolitan pizza is and what the perfect pizza should look at, and it was very focused on, on the, the product itself. What it is you're asking us to do is, is to come to our home and, and to you want to take a piece of our home and bring it back. And that's not for free and that's not uh, 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 easy. You, you'll work to earn it. And, and it was a you know, pretty brutal time, but it was good because every night afterwards I'd go to a different pizzeria. I learned the culture of Naples, my family's from that region. Uh, I learned the people, I learned their passion, and I wanted to bring that back. Further down the line when we began to open, I invited uh, VPN to come over. Same passion, uh, they're, they're standardizing what Neapolitan is, Varace Pizza Napolitana, true Neapolitan pizza, there, there's a standard. They brought in that passion, but they brought in the business element this is how and why you should be doing the things you should be doing and help me to understand the, uh, the business aspects as well as the passion aspects. So it was really good. We just became uh, the first certified pizzeria in the state of Hawaii back in November of 2016. Uh, in uh, one week, April uh, 8th, 2017, the president, Pepe Mille, will come. Um, and officially uh, present us with, with the certification. Um, we had a great instructor, Mario Vallara, uh, 
uh, worth his weight in gold. Worth his weight in gold. And, uh, uh, you know, we're trying to pass a culture. We're trying to do something. So, like I said, I've been here 30 years. And for 30 years, I've embraced the culture of Hawaii. And now it was my chance to give uh, a piece of my culture. My children were born and raised in Hawaii. It's, it's an opportunity for uh, my wife and I and my kids to say, OK, here's part of the Italian side. Here's part of the New York side. <laughs> and introduce this to the island. So we opened up the first New York pizzeria on the island uh, with a walk-up window uh, in Lihui. And in the inside, we've opened the first uh, uh, certified Neapolitan brick oven um, uh, pizzeria and uh, in Kauai and now we're the first certified in the state so that's what we've been doing that's who we are so I, I do want to interject a little bit Tom I have had your New York style pizza at Pietro's and it is fantastic I mean I was just knocked out very very authentic New York as right there in Hawaii. As best as you can, based on where we are, based on what we can get. We think we got it pretty close. And I, I call it New York-style pizza. The truth is, to me, in my heart, if you want to eat New York pizza, you go to New York. Because it's not, it's not just a pizza, right? It, it's, the, it's the attitude. It's the guy, the guy, the way he, they look at you and serve you. And, you know, um, but we do New York style, and as best as we can, even Neapolitan style. You really want true Neapolitan pizza, you know, they have a standard, the VPN. And, and this is the best best you, you're going to get. Um, they got a standard. Uh, but if you want true Neapolitan pizza, you go to Naples yep. and, and, and get the culture and get the people. You know, because that's part of it. Part of it is walking out the door and walking in the door and what you got to go through. Right. You know, what do you want? What do you want? You next, forget it. Come on, what do you want? And uh, okay, all right, I, I just pepperoni, okay. You know, and same with Naples, you know. Uh, they fire at you in Italian. You know, it's there's, there's not a lot of uh, creature comforts we think of in America. You go in by yourself, solo persona, uh, they'll put you at a table with three people you don't know. <laughs> You'll yep. just sit there and eat pizza. So yep. I, I think that's part of it. I think that, I think that's part of it. And trying to bring a piece of that is, is what's special. But uh, it's a culture we're trying to bring. It's a passion we're trying to bring. Pizza is, is its own. It's right. a family. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a spiritual experience. It is, you know. But let's face it: if you can't go to Naples and you can't yeah, yeah. go to New York, oh, wow. and you're, and you're on in Kauai, Hawaii, and you're on Kauai, ever, yeah, yeah. Where do you go? Yeah, come see us because we're we're right and centrally located on the island. It's uh, Pietro's Pizza Kauai. Pietro is my uh, grandfather, father, brother. They all passed away. We named it after them. So from the airport, uh, we're, we're we're maybe three minutes from the airport. We're we're across from Kalapaki Bay. A big okay. beach, uh, Marriott uh, Resort. Uh, it's at the Harbor Mall. We're on the uh, ground floor. You'll see Italian flags and can't miss us. All uh, right. And I know you have a website and a Facebook. Tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, really. No website, uh, no business cards. We don't really have signs up yet. We've been going for a year and a half. So, so crazy. We haven't even caught up. We do have Facebook, Pietro's uh, Pizza Kauai, and Instagram. And I couldn't tell you what that is either. I think it's Pietro's Pizza Kauai or something, but uh, Pietro's Kauai. But we, we, we're, 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 getting, we're getting to that. We're getting to the web page and all that, but Facebook for sure. Facebook okay. For sure. All right, Tom, thank you very much for taking a few minutes to talk to me. Thank you, Albert. It's, a, it's, a, it's my pleasure and blessing. For more pizza tips and tales, visit Pizza Therapy at pizzatherapy.com. And while you're here, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the lower right corner. We'd love to hear your comments. Pizza on Earth. Goodwill to all.